I'm coming at you with another video. This is a product empties video. I don't have too many to mention, but I have a few. So let's get started. The first, and I'm not going in any particular order. Just wanted to point that out. All right, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is a repairing Awapuhi ginger conditioner and shampoo. Um, this is by uh, the Organics brand. These were very, very good, very awesome. Um, I haven't used it with my hair extensions, but I have used it with my natural hair, and it does really, really work well. Um, it really makes your hair soft. Uh, the smell of it is just really, really good. It smells like, oh, it, it just, it has like this sweet floral ginger smell it smells very very good it it works really well the consistency of both of these products including the with the shampoo and the condition conditioner is very thick it's very thick which i think really aids in very nur like nourishing and moisturizing the hair so if you're natural and you're looking for a hair product to use to wash and condition your hair and that wouldn't be harsh on your hair, I strongly, highly recommend the uh, Repairing Awapuhi Ginger Shampoo and Conditioner. It works very, very good. So, and I also use the conditioner to co-wash um, and it's very, very good to use as a co-wash as well. Okay, the next thing, next product that I'm going to talk about is made by Summer's Eve. This is strictly for the V. Um, these products are so, so good. I've been using Summer's Eve cleansing wash for years now. And this, uh, this version of it is the Aloe Love. And it has a very light aloe scent to it uh, it's a very clean scent it almost reminds me of a of a cucumber scent a little bit but uh it's only available at target and as you can see um i use the big one every time i purchase this i always buy two because i run through them so quickly it really leaves you feeling fresh and clean in that area Okay, the next one that I also picked up, this is new. Uh, it's a rich and creamy formula. If you're prone to using this version of the Summer's Eve cleansing wash, you would see that the product is very thin. The uh, consistency is very thin, but this one is more of a rich, creamy. It's a nighttime cleansing wash in the scent lavender now i know you're like lavender that will tear me apart if i put that in that area but i use this in when i do my nighttime you know taking a shower at night or what have you i alternate between the two and this really leaves you feeling clean and fresh it does have a lavender scent the consistency is thicker which means that you probably would be kind of prone to being like oh no i'm not going to use this because it might make that area even more sensitive than it already is but it really really works and i highly recommend this if you're not very overly sensitive in this area these products the summer's eve cleanse and wash in aloe love and the summer's eve's Eve's nighttime cleanse and wash in lavender. These are awesome products to use. Uh, go purchase them. They're really, really good. The next product empty that I'm going to get into randomly picking up products is the Curls Passion Fruit Control Paste. This stuff right here is the truth for natural hair and for slicking those edges down. I use this whether if I have hair extensions or if I'm doing my natural hair uh, looks and slicking edges down to do my high buns and all of that stuff. It smells really, really good. Oh, it smells, it smells so good. And I am a fan of this product and I swear by it. 
I ha they also have this in Blueberry Bliss. I have not tried that one. The only one I've tried is the Passion Fruit Control Paste. It's awesome. I love it. If you have unruly edges, um, you should try it. Also, this product does not leave a white cast like some edge, edge products that, that you use for your edges leaves a white cast on your edges. This doesn't. You can literally wet your brush a little bit and slick it back and it'll be back slick like as if you put this product on, although I do reapply it every other day when I do use it. The next product that I'm going to go get into is a sugar scrub, and this is Body Ecology um, Exfoliating Sugar Scrub in the scent Toasted Sugar. This is a good product. I've been using it for about a year. Oh, it smells so good. Um, it, it has a very nice vanilla scent oh it's it smells so good and it has your skin when i use this in the shower it has your skin feeling so soft after you use it because after i use it i normally like to pair it with a body butter when i exfoliate with my sugar scrubs i uh, pair it with the body butter and when i'm putting that body butter on it's literally going on like you're buttering up a piece of cornbread <laughs> so that's something that i really really love to use um, this foundation is the makeup forever high definition foundation this foundation is very lightweight and when you put it on it's it's like second skin i know i say that a lot but I really love this foundation. It's very good for the spring and summertime because it tends to get a little hot here in the Houston area and this doesn't feel like it's about to melt off your face. So I love it. Okay, so the next product that I have is the Olive Olay Fresh Effects out of this swirl. It's a deep pore exfoliating cleanser. Um, this is just not something that I really, really love. It's pretty good. It did, you know, do its job when it came to exfoliating, but it's not something that I'm just going to rave about and say that it's a must-have or you have to go and purchase it. The next product that I'm going to talk about is a foundation. This is the CoverGirl Queen Collection All Day Flawless 3-in-1 foundation it's a very long name but this is the first foundation that i purchased to wear when i first started wearing makeup and it's very very good and it does cover up and conceal everything um like if you have dark mar marks or hyperpigmentation in certain areas of your face it does really really cover everything and it works well. I don't recommend wearing this when it's very hot outside because this will feel like it's about to melt off your face if you live in the Houston area or somewhere where it gets really hot. The next product that I have that's an empty is the Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo. This was okay. I don't think I'm going to be purchasing this again. It worked all right. It just wasn't the effect that I wanted because it tends to make my hair a little dry after spraying it on and brushing it out. My last product that I'm going to talk about is a foundation. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is my Holy Grail foundation. This foundation is the truth when it comes to foundation. It, foundations. It gives you the coverage that you need it stays on all day it stays in place all day you don't have to worry about reapplying throughout the day um i did set it with a matte powder it does stay matte this is just i love it and i highly recommend that everybody it is worth the money that you spend on this foundation i purchased this from macy's it's not available in sephora or Ulta, you can go to Macy's to purchase this. It's awesome and I love it. Please go and purchase it. You will not be upset. I have recommended this, uh, recommended this foundation for a couple of my friends and they were like, 
what foundation do I need to use? And I, I want to buy a high end and I'm not sure where to start. And I told them to get this and they all love it. So go and purchase this. It's awesome. I am in the process of getting another one now. I'm in the color Rich uh, 5W2 Rich Caramel. I love it. It's awesome. Go get it. And that's all of the empties that I have today. Um, if you would like to know more about these empties, I will list them below so that you can go and purchase it. And I will make notations on what I love, love, and things that were that I did not love so much. And thank you for tuning in. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.